a two-day international conference of science, social sciences and literature abbreviated as ICSSSL 2023 has been conducted in Kolkata at the Jesuit Hall on Rafi Kidwai Ahmed Road between February 27th and 28th. The organizer has been the NGO named Center for Multidisciplinary Research and Action with headquarters in Kolkata and branches in Bangalore, Darjeeling, Trivandrum, Viruddhanagar, Vagamon. To start with, a prayer was said by Professor Stephen Cheril, which was followed by the welcome address by Saikat Kumar Basu. And then the program was inaugurated online by Professor Dr. Sabu Thomas, the Vice Chancellor of the Mahatma Gandhi University of Kerala. Father Kurian, the Vicar Prabhu Jishu Girja Kolkata, was felicitated in this program by participants both offline and online. Two journals were also released by the Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Sabu Thomas, namely the Indian Journal of Botanical Research and the Indian Journal of Multidisciplinary Research with Sinkona special issue consisting of selected papers and invited papers based on an international webinar called Sinkona and COVID that was held on 27th of November 2020 in the HB College. Introductory remarks for the conference was placed by organizing secretary as also the director of Center for Multidisciplinary Research and Action, Professor Dr. Stephen Joseph Cheril. Several papers presented online included that from Professor Naran Bhatt, S. K. Basu, Devi Sharma, BNS Murthy, Professor Janardhan, Professor Halse, Dr. Kosigan, Dr. Mao, Dr. Subhas Singh, Dr. Sabu Thomas, Dr. Hema Prabha, Dr. Kuinakannan, Shiva Mannan, Dr. Girish Kumar, as also by Professor Shuparna Shandal Mukherjee and her students from Sikom Skill University, and also by Sutopa Bardhan, representing Education Counseling and Helping Organization ECO from Kolkata as the Principal Secretary. The conference had a unique theme of helping people by providing them with food and other means rather than actually delivering all the materials and resources uh, to the participants. Each participant were provided with two to five lunch packets which they were allowed to share with street wanderers, railway stations and other uh, members of the society who do not get proper food to eat and survive because CMRA has the vision as providing food is not a charity. It is their denied right and they sincerely believe in developing shelter for all as well as a hunger-free world. The message conferred through these conferences uh, was that we need to work together on a common platform to build a better place so that we can share and care for others who are parts of our society but always neglected. It is the responsibility of academia as well as various non-government organization in association with the government to work together to create a hunger-filled world. Participants were provided with vegetable seeds as well as flower seeds so that they can, when they go home, they can plant this and help in building pollinator sanctuaries or small pollinator gardens to cater our friendly pollinator insects like bees, wasps, butterflies, little ants, beetles, and various species of other flies that help us considerably in 
cross-pollination of the pollens from anther to the stigma of the flower. Because we are losing pollinators around the world, one of the theme of the conference for creating a better world, for creating a hunger-filled world, is also to conserve the pollinators that helps in the cross-pollination of crops. 85% of plants are dependent on cross-pollinators and hence it is important for us to have these plants in and our backyard to help the environment grow. It was a grand, the conference has been a grand success and was aptly attended both online and offline across India to make this a unique success and having a common platform for exchanging. Hello everybody, good morning uh, from Kolkata. It is a pleasure to be a part of the ICCL uh, CMRA conference 2023 for two days, 27th and 28th of February. It has been a pleasure to be on the dais and I'm going to shortly deliver uh, my presentation today. And what I'm going to talk about is that famous uh, or the infamous Bengal famine that devastated uh, Bengal during the uh, British period. Now, like to give you a short history, it was that uh, that Bengal during the World War II went through a devastating famine that killed people in millions. And there has been, you know, documentary literary sources and all other stuff uh, that documented that period. And it was unfortunate that during the British colonial period, the British imperialists did, did not take any responsibility of the people who went through this hard time particularly they were also British citizens but no care was taken about them it was because the rice that used to come to India during that particular time from Bengal uh, particularly it became this coarse grained rice from Burma used to come to uh, the Dadin undivided Bengal and the people were dependent on it and most of them whatever they were able to harvest was taken on a war footage for the soldiers who were fighting the, uh, during the Second World War, keeping the civilian population completely out of food and resources. It resulted in havoc across Bengal, and particularly in southern and central Bengal, millions died. And many moved to the cities just looking for a little bit of starch from the gains, uh, grain, uh, begging from door to door. It was uh, one of the shameful event of the British, civilization, uh, British imperialism that we could hear and uh, Churchill, the Dudden War Cabinet Prime Minister of England, is actually responsible for not taking care of the citizens of this nation. But now the things have changed. The, uh, we have gone through these man-made famines, but today on this uh, new millennium, we are coming across new new time where India has gone through this green uh, revolution, and we are now heading towards the gene revolution, as said by uh, Professor M. S. Swaminathan. And what we think is that this, we need to create a hunger-free world. Till today, millions are going to bed uh, across the world hungry. Uh, in spite of excess production in many parts of the world, there is this challenge of the distribution system across India and also in other parts of the developing and underdeveloped world that people are having the production, but due to climate change, global warming, and other environmental uh, intricacies, particularly loss of bees, and other similar factors that are adding to the destruction of crop production. Information, ideas, themes and philosophies among academics and researchers, scientists as well as social workers and poets and writers. Shoykot Kumar Basu, Kolinga Chronicle TV, Kolkata Bureau.